I'm not a big fan of the comic books, but I do love a good sci-fi movie. I've seen most of the Marvel films and all the Avengers movies, and I've noticed something about these movies that has struck me in the past about films like Independence Day and many others. One of the main drivers of the plot is aliens coming to Earth to extract Earth's abundant resources because they've run out on their home planets. Now, the Avengers movie put a bit of a twist on this storyline in that the villain, who eventually becomes a semi-sympathetic figure, you know, his, his heart's in the right place, is actually doing everyone a favor by killing off half the population of the worlds he conquers in order to preserve their diminishing resources. Thanks. Similar thing with Independence Day, Will Smith, they're after our resources, Oblivion, Tom Cruise movie, resources. So let me get this straight. These highly advanced civilizations who have mastered spaceflight by necessarily developing or discovering a propulsion system which does not depend on conventional fuel, this is the only way one can practically travel between solar systems, much less galaxies, and having built vehicles that can withstand the as yet undetermined physical challenges posed by intergalactic travel and having also, almost certainly, achieved levels of, for lack of a better term, highly sophisticated interpersonal cooperation in order to develop these advanced technologies these advanced beings have zoomed through the cosmos and come to Earth to conquer us because they need our resources. Fortunately, we always outwit these invaders with our superior intelligence. Talk about poetic license. These plot lines always end with the heroic and victorious humans overcoming the evil invaders. This solves a few plot-related problems, not the least of which is following this process to its natural conclusion. Okay, so, so the aliens come down out of their spaceships, and I don't know, on hoverboards or something like that, and they promptly go into our houses and start, I guess, turning on our taps to take our water. Or, or maybe they put on their hard hats and start extracting the precious coal from our mines in West Virginia. Or perhaps they foolishly depleted and poisoned the soil on their home planet in which case they'll come rumbling out of their spacecraft riding on combines to become the farmers of the future. Or, or maybe they'll use human slave laborers to extract these resources with a shovel. Because after having flown through the cosmos to get here, they don't have a more efficient way of doing this except by hand. Folks, advanced civilizations do not run out of critical resources. We are an advanced civilization, at least by the standards of life on Earth so far. It's much more likely that aliens are going to land on Earth tomorrow than it is that we're going to run out of resources any time in the next thousand years. And when we do eventually master space travel, I'm pretty sure that we're not going to be searching the heavens in order to steal our neighbor's coal. This is simply not the way this process works. Look at, look at the history of our various civilizations. Now, the Iron Age didn't end because we ran out of iron. The Bronze Age didn't end because we ran out of bronze. And the Stone Age didn't end because we ran out of stones. These eras ended because we thought of a better way. If you look objectively at where we are now versus where we were 200 years ago even, we're living in a land of plenty that our ancestors could have barely imagined. Our environment is cleaner, as are our power sources. Advanced food production has caused the frequency and severity of global famine to plummet and we're living longer, healthier, happier lives. Depletion of natural resources is becoming less likely, not more likely. Those who claim this is not the case are doing so for reasons having nothing to do with the betterment of humanity or, or even the planet. The only thing we have to fear is running out of ideas. And the only way that we will run out of ideas is when a group of us gets together and either overtly or covertly makes ideas illegal. So by all means, let's be entertained by a good movie, no matter how ridiculous the premise. But let's stop thinking we're going to run out of anything important. It's just not going to happen. More importantly, let's stop using this pretense against each other as a behavior control technique. Maybe then, if aliens ever do invade, we'll have more to defend ourselves with than stone knives and bear skin. <laughs> to me you won't say nothing to anything